Right, so I'm carrying on where I left off last time. This game is Medieval, the remake. Originally from the PlayStation 1, I think. Like I said before, I haven't, I didn't, I vaguely remember this game, but I don't remember playing much when I was a kid. So most of it's quite new to me. We're on the third sort of section there. Or area on the map. I don't know if they count as levels, like, because the map reminds me of Crash Bandicoot when he moves along to each one. If that's a new level, I don't know, but... So, even from the shackles of death, my old enemy pursues me. You're too late, Fortescue. Already my army has risen from the grave. You will never leave this necropolis. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a great voice. Oh dear. What did that say? Something about the Book of Galamir. Okay, the heroes, mightiest heroes of Galamir are awarded a place in the Hall of Heroes. It's an exclusive club with access paid for by only the greatest of deeds. Who runs the place? We don't know. How do the heroes pass time for all eternity? We don't know. Maybe they play cards. But trust me, these heroes are the best of the best. They deserve every moment of whatever it is they do up there. <laughs> right, we know the merchant gargoyles. They just offer me bloody arrows and stuff, don't they? Daggers. Some obstructions can be smashed down with clubs and certain other weapons. Try experimenting. I don't know if I can... If it, if it needs a club, I don't know if I saw to do it. Let me try my... Uh, has it got a special... Oh, I can just fire like that, so that's useful. These bones are going to crush your bones if you aren't careful. I hope you have a good shield equipped. Remember that each hit on your shield will chip away at its durability. Yeah, better it than you, though. Right. Yes, yeah, so that is block. Oh, I can walk with it as well. <laughs> I thought he was just... Because he crouches down and it's just like he's doing a little dance. <laughs> What's that? Oh, it's more money. Of great archaeological interest. Destroy the boulder and plunder the valuable treasures. Right, so there's certain boulders. I wonder, there's always something that highlights them. I wonder if it's these steppy stones so you know that I can destroy that boulder basically. I don't think this sword is going to do it. So I might have to come back. Because games like this, there's a lot of backtracking, isn't there? You've got to. You get like a new key or a new weapon and you've got to come back and go through an area you couldn't get through before. So I'd assume that would be the case with this one. He's so elegant with his sword. He's like the Roger Federer of sword wielders. Just, just blow up. How rude. So I have to go up that way at some point, I'm guessing. Oh, now. Energy vial. I've not noticed. What's the, um... The orange thing, is that energy then? It do 
doesn't go down when I'm slashing my sword around. Right. I don't know how this is going to go. Right, so energy, energy is health. I'm an idiot, but energy is health. I mean, it's not that obvious, is it? You'd think energy is like... The energy, like stamina and stuff like that. Jump, jump! Oh. 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 Leave me alone! That bloody thing's gonna cut. No, it didn't. Okay. Oh! I get the rune! It's. Oh no, me shield! Right. Oh, it's another shield. It's not a rune. Okay, we're nearly at the top, and I'm nearly dead, but it's all right. We have failed the master. We yeah, you have. Lives. You know, match for my skeletal bottom and my sword. I don't know why I said skeletal bottom. I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, read book. The adventurer would be wise to be thorough in the exploration of an area. Hidden locations reap great reward. I mean, I feel like I'm quite thorough, but I've probably missed all sorts of things already. I'm as thorough as I can be, basically. Am I going to have a boss fight? No, surely not. I wouldn't fight him this early in the game, would I? He's just run off. Right then. Does that mean I can get a new chalice? Or is it just the fact that I've got one anyway? I don't know. Oh no, I don't want to replay it. Come on. The hilltop mausoleum. Right. So it looks like the they are clusters levels. Master of the Hilltop Mausoleum is dying to meet you, don't keep him waiting. He's got a heart of glass. You are entering a house of pain. Rumours abound of evil doings in the secret catacombs below this very hall. What kind of evil doings? Ah! What is that little creature? I haven't even read these. What is this? Oh, it's an imp. Back in King Peregrine's day, imps are often kept as household servants, like the uh, elves in Harry Potter. Treated very poorly. Do you give him a sock? <laughs> Cunning little creatures formed a secret alliance with Zarok. The morning of the Battle of Galamir, every last one of King Peregrine's men awoke to find his house imp gone, along with them, every last undergarment in the kingdom. <laughs> so they don't get Dobby's socks, they get niggers. Master has given Dobby some niggers. <laughs> right! My game crashed, that's quite unfortunate, but uh, I'll just start from this level again. Luckily, I did, it did save this level and I didn't have to play the whole damn game again. Die, you pesky imp! <laughs> huh? 
Oh god. Look at him run off. I love the way they run. It's hilarious. Right. What's this here? Oh, it's another room. They look like um, gremlins or mogwais. What's that? A club. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> it's quite brutal, that club. What the? Oh no, they haven't. I thought the coffins had turned to chairs, but they're down here. Uh, right. That's strange. Alright, maybe I can just go back and break that boulder with this then, maybe? No. You are end. That's strange. But this one's glowing, so uh, that's why I was hit. Okay, it just didn't work last time. See, I know I know what I'm doing. This what game doesn't know what I'm doing. Fingered imps. These thieves will strip you down to your armored undies. Oh my god. They fence their stolen wares with the merchant gargoyles. So they steal my stuff and then I've got to buy it back? That is rude. My club is on fire. Hmm. What are those? I'm gonna guess I have to jump over these. I can't. Can I smash him? Oh, you can smash him. God's sake. You know when I said earlier that I know what I'm doing? I don't. I don't, I don't get too close in case I die. Oh, I need a uh, an earth rune. This way. There you go. Moon rune. I don't think. Ooh! That was daft. I don't. Know. I don't think I've seen any runes uh, yet. Can I go this way? Yeah, I can go this way. Providing I don't die. I mean, I clearly pressed forward to turn him around before I shot then, but he didn't turn around. That's just what I needed. Right, got the earth rune. Am 
I okay here? My goodness. Right, the earth one was this way, wasn't it? It's like Indiana Jones, this. This imp madness! And I've traded in my elegant sword for a... <gasps> you cheeky sword! Yeah, give me that back! <laughs> Chaos rune. I thought I had one of those in another level, or did I use it? Oh, me club's nearly uh, dead. Oh well. The stained glass demon is the master of the mausoleum. His wretched soul lies preserved inside a frozen glass heart. Shrouded in a veil of darkness beneath the mausoleum, you will find this pre-frozen menace. It sounds like I'm heading to a boss battle. Oh yeah, there's a rune that way. I forgot. Is he running off? Come here. I still don't know what that orange thing is. I mean, I'm clearly not paying attention properly in this game, but... Hello? Ah! Well, there's the moon one. Should I go back and open it, or should I go through here? I'm gonna go back and open it. Otherwise, um, oh, I, oh no, I went downstairs. I went downstairs. Because I don't want to progress and then end up being stuck. Oh, I might not be able to anyway. No, I can't. <laughs> Stop running into walls, man. That's actually quite frightening. Oh, there's the chaos one. The would-be phantom longs to play a new tune, but he seems doomed to repeat the same cause of despair over and over. Like, when creatures and characters and films and stuff and games like this, when they've got long spindly arms and legs like that, it really freaks me out. Can't talk to him or anything, can I? Nah. I don't really, I don't want to pick them up because I've got full health. Right, anyway, I've got a new rune, haven't I? It's for the, <laughs> the one through here. <laughs> Not this one. Downstairs. This one. Push against the fire block. Okay. Oh! 
I mean, the movement is slightly clumsy. But I'll live. Oh, I'm melting his ice heart. He's not going to be happy about that. Right, there was something here. I don't like running backwards. I mean, I'm not running backwards, I mean running towards the screen. I'm going to play um, the new Outer Worlds today as well, but I'm too engrossed in this at the minute. Well, he's the boss battle I wanted, isn't it? He's some sort of like stained glass mirror creature. Uh. Right, probably gotta hit that, haven't I? Whoop! Stop firing your coloured bricks at me! Look at the way he moves, it's so freaky. Get it, get it, get it! Oh! I'm stuck! Oh, I nearly ran into him then. That wouldn't be good. Oh. Get your heart out again, go on. There you go. I've nearly got him. Come on, one more time. One more time. Here we go. Got ya. <laughs> that was quite fun. I enjoyed that one. Oh my god, okay, the skull key. Uh, where was that for? Oh, it was on a different level, wasn't it? Was it on a different? I can't remember where it was. Let me just uh, think. But anyway, um, I've done my first boss battle, so I think I'll leave this video here and uh, I'll figure out where I'm going for the next one. So thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.